Hi, I'm Kaya, and today we are going to be talking about configurable part studios and assemblies in Onshape. So as you can see, I have two very similar parts. And let's say we wanted to make a bunch of these, but of different lengths or of slight different variations. So generally, you would have to make multiple different parts or part studios for this. But what if we could just insert into the assembly and then edit each individual one in that assembly while only having one part studio? That's where configurable parts comes in. So today, I'm gonna to teach you how to do that. So say you have these two spacers right here, um, one's a hex spacer and one's a rounded spacer for presumably a rounded hex shaft. So you can see both of my extrudes are just a certain number of inches and this one's one inch, this one's one inch. Um, and say I wanted this one to be able to vary its length because I have several places I want to put it with different lengths. So over here in Onshape you have several different tabs. Um, this over here is MKCAD, highly recommend. Um, this one is in here by default. It's your configuration panel. So first you're going to open that. And then here is where all your configurations are going to show up. So then you can click this drop down and create a configuration variable. And then what you're going to do is let's say hex uh, spacer length. And then this is going to create a variable instead of just a value where you can enter that. And so now it's in here, but none of the features are configured with it. So then what you're going to do is that you can actually set uh, distances to a variable. And all variables use a hashtag. So if you just want to look for your variables, you can do hashtag, and then it'll show up right here. And then click your little check mark, as always. Now you can close this tab here. Um, as you can see, it will show up in your configurations panel. Close that. And then instead of editing your extrude, you can just go to this. Let's say we want it to be two. And then we'll do that. So now this looks pretty similar to how we would do it in an actual, just in a part studio, right? Like I could just click into this extrude and change it to one or two or three or five or 10. But instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go to an assembly. And let's rename this because we're going to be doing some other stuff with it as well. So let's insert. Um, I have a shaft that we're going to use in a minute. You'll see. And then let's insert both spacers. So this one here, you can actually see, you can right click on this and then change configuration. And you can go to, and then it changes right in the assembly. Now let's say you wanted another one. You can put that there and then right click on that. You can change its configuration. You can go one. Notice how they're from the same part studio and yet you can do that. It's really cool. So let's get rid of this one. And let's say you had two very similar assemblies you wanted to be able to use. What you could do is you could create two different assemblies, one with this spacer and one with this spacer on the shaft. Or you could do what we're gonna do, which is configure the assembly. So first you wanna start by just mating both to the same thing. And it'll look a little wacky for a minute, but I promise it'll work out. So let's get this one right here. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we've broken physics. That's okay, because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our configuration panel. And then instead of all of these, we're going to go to configure assembly. So just use the default value, basically. And then let's say um, you want different configurations. So this is where you can pick like, um, let's say hex for one, and then round for another. So for hex, then you can configure assembly features, and then you can click on the hex spacer, and then it'll give you this little menu. So you wanna click on the aspect you wanna change. So within this, you could also change the configurable variable if you wanted to make that also part of the configurable assembly. Um, I just find it easiest to leave that. But what we wanna look at is suppressed versus unsuppressed. So you can click on that, 
um, and then it'll show up over here. Cool. So now let's exit that. And then you can also do, so we have hex and now let's do round. And then you'll have to click on the little unsuppressed again. Notice how it kind of um, fills itself out with a little dotted line instead of uh, full yellow once you click on it. And now we have both of these. So let's click done. And it's going to give you a default. Um, I generally just ignore that. Uh, so let's go round. So round, we want round unsuppressed. We want that to be in the part studio. So we're going to suppress hex. In the other one, we're going to suppress round. So we can go in here. And now if I click hex, it'll only show up with the hex. Whereas if I click round, it'll only show up with the round one. And then if you were putting this in a larger assembly, you could do the same thing we did with the part studios. Just right click on it, click change configuration, and then it'll change the spacer between hex and round instead of you having to delete one part, reinsert another part, remade it again. So it very much streamlines the process. And then you can also go over here if you would like. And let's say you want to name the assemblies differently to keep them straight in your uh, little feature part tree over here. So you could do, um, let's say hex and round. You could do, you could do hex and shaft. Come on. And you could do round and shaft. So now, when you go over here, you notice that the actual assembly name that would be in your feature tree over here is going to change, and that'll be a lot easier to keep track of things. If you would like, you can view some of our other videos by going to our channel and then clicking on playlists, and uh, there's a whole catting playlist for your information. Um, thank you for watching today.